Hello again, this is the Watering Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 172, John chapter 3, uh, recording number um, 26, and the audio recording number 490, and examination table number 152. Let's document to this thing, okay? <clears throat> Alright, dissect it. Alright, examine it. Okay, now, we're still in John chapter 3, verse 4, okay, and I was going to take you to another verse, uh, but then I want to, uh, where I was just talking a little bit about that, uh, that, that the poor is a widow woman that gave all that she had, I'm just going to go there and read that verse, uh, a few verses there. And show you, and then you can go look at it yourself, okay? Been a while since I've done, I, I, I looked at that, so I just was doing a loose paraphrase, just telling you about that. But we're going to go look at it a little bit more in depth, okay? Whoops. Well, I'm not going to go delving in there because I'd have to make probably a series to get this, okay? <clears throat> so let's just read it, and then we'll go to that other place, okay? <clears throat> so this could be almost like your little homework or just a little showing you, okay? All right. Now in, Matt, in Mark chapter 12, verse 41 through 44, to end of the chapter there, it's telling you about the, the poor widow woman, okay? All right. It says, starting in verse 41, uh, let's read that out, that out of the New King James, just because it flows a little bit better, and a lot of times they get up their translations a little closer to the mark. Still errors, but, and not complete, but it's a little bit more accurate. Okay, so out of the New King James Version of the Bible, it says in verse 41 of Mark 12, now Jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury. And many who were rich put in much. <clears throat> Verse 42. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, which makes uh, a quadrants. <clears throat> Verse 43, so he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that the poor widow want, the poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasury. She's done more than all the others put together. That's not looking with natural, physical eyes, with the seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Kind of like this Nicodemus cat in John chapter 3, right? <clears throat> all right? She's not worried about shining outside the cup. She's giving all that she has from her from her heart, her mind, her thought processes, right? Just like you got to do in everyone in, their, in the eye of the storm. Pursue God. Choose God in hot pursuit. Not talking just money. It can you can be, but it has to be all that you agree with God in hot pursuit. Everything you got. All right. <clears throat> now in verse forty-four, it says, "For they all put in out of their abundance." Just a little small amount of it. Here, here's a few little crumbs off my table. Right. Well, I eat the big old bunch of stuff. Here, you have a little crumbs. It's in my way anyways. Right? But she, the widow, the poor widow woman, out of, the, out of her poverty, put in all that she had, the whole, her whole livelihood. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct 
He will direct your path. Right? The course of life. The way you think. The way you live. To, right through that where the flesh has been out of the sides. And walk. Exist. Agree with God. In hot pursuit. Right back into God. To everything you got. Agree, agree, agree. Amen, amen, amen. She's signing on the contract, isn't she? In spite of anything, any circumstances saying, Oh no, you're going to die, you're going to die. Hmm? Poor widow woman there is giving all. Surrendering all that. Not just giving crimes. Hmm? You think maybe she might have been seeing beyond this natural with the five senses, with that eye, that log in her eye. Uh, that log, I believe, is coming out right there. And she's going full bore, right? Have we been talking about that? Full bore, full bore in hot pursuit. Agree with God. Again and again and again. Habitually practice that. Not just take it, not, not mean just take it out, give all your money away. Mm -mm. I mean, it might require some of that, but it may not. That's not, you can't just buy your way, not by your good works, right? Let's stand man and boast. Okay, that's just some food for thought. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's go to Matthew chapter 26. Verse 39 through 42, I think. Let me get here. <coughs> I'm going to break these down too too much right now. It's going to take a long time. Okay? I'm just giving you a little bit. And that's a good Berean. You go look at it. Study it. For yourself. Not just shine outside the cup. Okay, so it's good. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me get up here to it. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see here. Okay, let's just read from... Verse 38 there, okay? Alright. I'm just going to break down a few words in here, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to go from exhaust or, or getting none of it. Just totally exhausted. But I'm not going to spend multiple videos on one word. Okay? I can, and I have, and I will continue to do that. But this is just kind of a little bit of food inside, okay? Then said, in verse 38, Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. Okay, that's Jesus talking, okay? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. Sorry about that. Must be a little left over. I've been had to go down in bed about five thirty or six o'clock yesterday evening and pretty much been there ever since. Um get up and do do more, okay? Uh I don't know, I felt like I ripped something inside me, I don't know. It's alright. Let's go. Uh okay. 
Okay, watch with me, okay? On this first uh, 38 of Matthew chapter 26. Now we're on verse 39. <clears throat> and he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. This is Jesus it's right before they're coming to get him. The Garden of Eden, or not the Garden of Eden, Garden of, what is that? Uh, the Garden of the, the Skull, okay? I can't think of another word right now. Um, <clears throat> Nevertheless, not as I will, not as I desire, but as you will, as your, what's your will. That's what's most important. He's submitting to the Father, just like we got to do. Okay, you can request, pray, make your request made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard or protect your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, right? All right. Jesus is asking Father God to let this cup, let this... Basically, this catastrophic thing, like, you know, going to the cross, they're going to do some mighty nasty stuff to him. Let this pass if possible. But nevertheless, not my will be done, but yours. Whew. Wow. All right? Because I trust that you cause all things to work together for good. I know it. I know that I know that I know because I'm greed of greed of greed. See, he's showing. He's a pattern son, right? It's a set-up deal. He's showing. He's giving us an example. Hmm. So we, we got some to follow because, boy, that's a big task. Okay? All right? Like going to the cross as a mute lamb or a dumb lamb a mute. He's not crying or whining about it. That's as much as he says right there. Um, Father, let this cup, but please, I don't really wish to do this. But not my will be done, but yours be done. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> now, verse 40 says, He cometh unto the disciples. Let's see what it is. But, okay, yeah, make sure I didn't skip it. Any, going uh, to verse 40, uh, Matthew 26. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep in their death, in their carnal. You know, that's a representative of just not being awake. Wake up, you sleeper. All right. And said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? Couldn't you even just hang with me right before I'm going to do the big stuff? Couldn't even hang. And this is Peter. A little piece of the rock. Hmm. Watch and pray. That you enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, Except I drink it, except I do it, thy will be done. Kind of hard, a little bit tongue twister on that King James talking stuff. It's got like to decipher it. Say what? Speak some regular English. <laughs> Let's read the new King James here just a minute. Again, a second time. He went away and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. Oh, okay. 
Makes a little more sense, right? Wow. <laughs> if I if I gotta go through this, go get crucified on the cross, then okay. Y your will be done. Okay. Basically. Now, let's go back here just a minute. I wanted to show you a few words. In, uh, let's see which one I got. Yeah, right up here in verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, this word willing comes from the word, it's translated from the word, 4289, and it's P-R-O-T-H-Y-M-O-S, this word right here. Strong's G, 4289, Prothemos, Prothemos. Prothemos, okay. And uh, that word, the root, comes from 4253 and 2372. Make up that, okay. Now, let's see here what I got here. Okay. Now, the online, it means online biblical usage means it's, uh, that prothemos means ready, you're willing. In the, in the strongs, it means uh, forward in the, in the spirit. Okay. That is willing. He's, this is like being in hot pursuit. It's, qualifying you you're ready you're willing it's giving that increase forward in the spirit of god falling into love with god not just going with your own self well i don't want to do that that's scary getting crucified on the cross <laughs> right that's pretty all that's the, oh my goodness this is the pattern sun showing you my answer anything you got can, can't even compare to this, all right? And this is like meaning to agree, to exist, um, to be in hot pursuit of God's righteousness. God's right, not you. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding, even in the hottest, fiercest times in your life, inside, in your mind. First, right? Seek ye first in time, place, and order of importance inside the kingdom of God. That ruling, getting that increase to become a ruler, not just a lightweight thing, right? With that faith, see the faith turn back into the truthfulness of God. That weighty, dense character of the truthfulness of God is growing. Glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. One to two to four to six, or one to two to four to eight. <laughs> Sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. You know, right on that. Double, double, double. Right? It's like saying, yes, sir, Father God. I know that alpha dog, that barking crap inside me, tells me to be very afraid. The fear of God is beginning to understand is a liar. And the truth's not in it. This false evidence appearing real, it's not going to get you that way. You're not going to do it Nicodemus way. Butter you up and hey, just polish outside of the cup and keep all that dark dead man's bones inside of you. Yeah. That's the way I do it. And you ought to do it too. Just like me. Look how great I am. You all those big cars, trucks, and, you know, jet airplanes. Stuff. You want, want that too? Yeah, come do it my way. And you'll be rich like I am. And inside, they're poor as all get out. Light me <laughs> flying all over the place. But to get those precious pearls of great price, those diamonds, those stun the, the, the making those bubbles, those marbles, regenerating them, being baptized by the Holy Spirit. And increased back into the right mindedness of God, into that love of God, you have to obey, right in the midst of a storm. <clears throat> it's not fear 
is the beginning of all understanding. It's reverence, honor, respect, love, adoration, acknowledging God is your exceeding great reward. In spite of any, oh, 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 my ship is going down. We better wake up, Jesus. Oh, pray to him. Oh, big, big. Jesus, when you wake him up down there in your ship. Oh, what are you doing? How long you got to suffer with you guys? Who's up there? Like on that, like in that, uh, I forget where it's at. It's Mark's. Uh, can't pull it off the, that's right on the tip of my tongue, but pull it off the, but, but, uh, Jesus goes up there and rebukes the winds and the waves. Tells them, ah, be quiet. Put a muscle on it. Put a sock in it. Be still. So you gotta be still and know that who God is. Let the rightful king take his place little by little by little by little. And you gain the ability to love as God does. Not going this old stinking way. Keeps you in that poopy, that fear, that false evidence appearing real. It's not it's separating you. The day, that, the very hour, the day that you, the moment, the very moment that you eat of that fruit from the tree of your own good and evil, your knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. You'll be separated from God's way. Can't, you won't, your increase cannot be allowed. God won't increase it. He's not a rewarder of that. But if you surrender all, you're like that that poor widow woman, giving it all in hot pursuit. Bam, booyah. What's that word, M-E, that, that they pronounce may, it's qualified. Qualified to negate that old stinking thinking, and you go on to God. If you don't, you disagree, or you not not pursue, lukewarm or cold, you qualify that you're disagreeing with God, and you qualify to be put out there in a doubly hard, right? Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> let me look, just touch a little bit on these root words, okay? Um, Now, also in the in the um, Strong's Concordance, this um, this forty two eighty nine, the word that they translate as uh, alacrity, mean oh means uh, I mean not like willing. Okay, it's uh, um, in the Strong's Concordance. It says forward in spirit, and it's also a neuter noun of alacrity. An alacrity means cheerful readiness, promptness, okay, willingness. You're willingly and prompt and cheerful endurance. You're cheerfully ready to, to, to surrender all that stinking thinking, all your own righteousness to go on. See, the spirit is uh, agreeing in hot pursuit. And back in the union, E N and S Y N, God's righteousness. That's what the attitude that's, that's needed to qualify you to go in and get that increase, okay? All that, that's out, out of willing, okay? I didn't even break down the two uh, root words here. Uh, 4253 is one of them. And that's pro. Remember that? This is. Like uh, the uh, superior, and in this meaning, not that carnal mind which Nicodemus like tries to convince you that that's the superior way. Hmm. If that's right. That's before. That's prior to. Mm. -mm. God is the first and the last. God's righteousness, God's love beyond words, is the superior way. Okay. So it's coming from that word. This uh, prothemos, which I translate as willing, okay? And uh, 2372, see what that one is. That's thumos, oh my goodness. Now this one's, they translate a lot of times, anger, wrath, and stuff. That's one of them. 
organ thumos, thumos, okay? We're going to have to do on this one. This one may take a couple, oh, a couple of <laughs> things. It, the root word comes from uh, the root of uh, etymology of thumos, which is a masculine noun, just for 2380. Now, this uh, thumos is not like a anger or wrath, okay? It, it's a, um, a passion. As if breathing hard. Okay. It's uh, not anger. Okay. But this is an, not an anger and in, in hating. It. This is an anger as in boiling it up. Boiling up those hard fallow ground inside of you. That stuff that's trying to defeat you. In your mind. Okay. And it, soon, it says anger for with boiling up. And soon subsiding in fierceness. God's fiercely trying to vind is vindicating you, working hard to render you innocent, trying to show you and convince you. And you gotta go, go just be in hot pursuit, be sold out in hot in full bore. Yes, Father, you're right. You are great. Thank you. Much gratitude in this, right? Do you hear him intelligently and respond positively? Obey him. Oh, wow, yes, 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 right? You optimize, you see it, hear it, taste, touch, or smell it, and you agree, you're in hot pursuit, and hurrah, oh, oh, my goodness, yes, yes, yes. That's a little bit of increase, like from one to two to four to eight, right? He's rendering you innocent. All right, Father, forgive them for they know not what to do, right? Luke 23, 34. All right, Jesus said that. Right. It's passion. It's thumos. Also, passion. Sometimes they put anger, but it's just anger towards this old stuff down in you, bringing you out. It's a passionate desire to bring that out, boil it up. Shall we skim it off now, son? Daughter? My child? <laughs> yes, sir, daddy? <laughs> Hot pursuit? <laughs> Throw that stuff out. Skim it out. Chop it out. Way out. Remember? Bulling it up. The impurities. Uh, that hard follow ground in the mind. Okay, and you're stinking thinking. Your old righteousness. And soon subsiding again. When you give it over to God. When you give all that you had. They're like two little mites. Not just this side, all the bones are all good. It's so a I'm doing what God says a little bit. Lukewarm, cold. Yuck. <laughs> Vomit out. Doubles. Right? Okay. And it, um, God's correction in one's mind is passionate and can be intense. <laughs> it's very intense, okay? At times. The intense breathing, that's why it's like misinterpreted by that carnality, carnal mind, that non-spiritual mind. It only sees with that big log in its eye. The seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell has got that eye. Your own, me, myself, and I. That old ego in there telling you, this is bad, this is really bad. Gotta get that log out of your eye so you can see clearly to help anybody and to help yourself first. Be in hot pursuit. Because with that log in your eye, you got the S-H-I, T-T-S. You got diarrhea, okay? And God, you got to realize God's, God's love is beyond words. God's righteousness is a, we can't even describe that adequately with mere words, okay? Okay. Um, so I could, God's saying to you again. Be reasonable, my child. Say it my way. Come back to me. Get out of that old pig's pen. Quit eating that hog slop. You got it. It's like he's not even going to be over there ordering you to do that. But he's done told you. You're down in there. This is good stuff. And then you got a whole big mouthful of shit. You're not even seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with your ego in the way. Big old log in your eye. 
Do it my way, man. Look at all these cars and trucks and big barns and everything I got. Or look how poor and all of the feet down I am. Woe is me. Good and bad. It's wrong. Okay. Now I'll have to pick up there again because I want to get a little bit deeper in this stimulus. Well, I got a little bit of time here. It comes from the root, 23 thumos. They translate a lot of times as anger, right? This is down inside this, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, this, uh, prothemus. They put as willing, okay? It's all you gotta be willing. This goes way down and shows you a lot better picture. And this is not nowhere near exhaustive. Okay, but this, down in this root, the etymology, uh, Thumas is 2380. It's this word. Strong's G 2380. Thule. Thule. That's the Um. That's a root word, okay? I'm going to have to pick up there again because I'm about to run out of time. It's Thule, okay? It's a verb. It's a root word. And it's, uh, to immolate, to sacrifice. You're sacrificing that old righteousness. Okay. I'll get down there. I'll put a line right here and we'll pick up there again because there's, there's a lot more and I'm not going to give you all of it. I don't have all of it. Because it goes on for, it, it's, it's unlimited. But I got a lot more. And I'll give you a little bit of it. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.